He took an oath to serve and protect four paws, feather, and fur. New at six in his latest Heroes Among Us, Greg McQuaid and Chief Photographer Brad Wilson introduce us to a veteran officer in Richmond who has dedicated his life to giving animals a voice. <laughs> the soundtrack to Rob Lineberger's career should be more <laughs> remains constant. How are you <laughs> and he wouldn't have it any other way. It's so ingrained in who I am. I mean, I've been doing this since I was 21. Great hair, great mustache. The 51 year old serves as an animal control officer. <laughs> Why are there puncture marks in the camera? <laughs> a role he harnessed 30 years ago and hasn't let go. Let's see what this guy is about. And he's about goofiness. That's what he's about. <laughs> this was September of 1993. Rob began his career in Chesterfield in 1991. It's so invigorating, it's so fulfilling, it's so enriching. So it's, it's literally my world. For the last five years, he's been working with Richmond Animal Care and Control as field supervisor. And any of the mobile veterinary clinics too, so just recommend mobile vets too. By putting the welfare of all animals first. As a last resort, it's us having to go get the animal. Rob and his team of seven officers are shedding the outdated image of dog catcher. They are what makes this, you know, this world so successful. There is no way that we could do this by ourselves individually. It's just a bald eagle. <laughs> I mean, in three decades, Rob has rescued thousands of neglected and abused animals. You never leave it here. I take it home every single day. Experiences that come with a heavy emotional toll. It never turns off, never turns off. Have I sat and cried because I couldn't fix something? Yeah, yeah, totally. When the pressure builds, Rob need only look down at his partner Piper, a stray Rob rescued 12 years ago. She literally, again, is the, that poster pup for, for what we do. We're going to see cats, come on! The father of two admits his job. God, you are so cute. Also comes with fringe benefits with fur. This helps. I mean, this takes away that, all right, we've dealt with this terrible thing and we've dealt with that horrible thing. Well, now I get to do this nice little thing and I get to snuggle. He's a key player in the work that we do every single day. RACC's executive director, Christy Chips Peters, says Officer Leinberger's expertise and experience pay dividends. He brings a very um, level headed compassion to a world that can be very ugly. What are you doing? Oh, it's okay. When he took the oath 30 years ago, Virginia laws protecting animals didn't have much teeth. None of this existed. It was little, you know, few and far between. But Rob says rules have strengthened, especially since the death of Tommy. We have absolutely made progress. Yeah, we have absolutely made progress. Tommy was a dog tied to a tree and intentionally set on fire in February of 2019. The man who committed the crime was sentenced to five years in prison. That's, that's a breathing moment that says, you know what? Out of this terrible, terrible incident, something good has come. Officer Rob Leinberger found his calling and isn't hanging up his leash anytime soon. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> come on, juice box. Come on. Why leave? Come on. When you love something inside and out. Yeah, good job. Good job. Good job. And from head to tail. There you go. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. Get some water. Officer Robert Leinberger begins his 31st year in animal care and control in December. If you're interested in adopting an animal from RACC, I have their website on ours at WTVR.com. For Heroes Among Us, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News. Great work. How long do you think Juice Bucks is going to be there after this story? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good publicity right there. But boy, the compassion that Mr. Leinberger has is something else, isn't it? Yes. Really